Prince of Persia The Lost Crown is a deceptively big game and while you'll probably make it through just fine there's a few things that I'd love to share with you that I'd like to have known earlier. So here's 11 tips and tricks to get you on your way. You've probably noticed by now that the combat in The Lost Crown is quite fluid, something that we don't usually see in Metroidvania games. There's more to this than just mashing the attack button until the enemy is dead. I suggest paying Artsban a visit in the hub area. He has combos, challenges and free practice for you to learn to fight in style. You'll get more challenges as you get more abilities and you get some crystals for it too. Something that you want to consider at the start of the game is that some pots and other objects in the environment are breakable and give small amounts of crystals and can sometimes have collectibles hiding behind them. You won't get rich off this but it's nice to know. Side note, the game scales really well with currency so don't worry about farming for crystals, you'll have plenty of crystals by just playing the game. If you're exploring everything, you'll find all of the amulets eventually but one you're given early on is Blade Dancer. It's great because it extends your normal combo. All amulets can be upgraded at the forge in the hub area and Blade Dancer is a must because it extends your standard combo four times. Make this amulet a priority. I won't be able to show you the locations of these amulets but in case you wanted to know what amulets I figured out were the best in general, here they are. So when you do find them, you'll know that they're good. If you're struggling to dodge in time mid combo, it's probably because you've not realized yet that you can't dodge out of the final hit in your combo. Your final hits are good because they'll stun lot smaller enemies, but larger enemies like bosses, for example, do not care about the last hit. They will tank it, you will get hit, learn not to overcommit. If you're enjoying this, consider helping us out a little by one, liking the video and two, hitting subscribe. Thank you, now back to gaming. At the start of the game, your bow won't do a lot of damage. Later on, you can find amulets that turn your arrows into fire and upgrade your bow, but that's way later into the game. Early on, I recommend using the bow as utility since it can interrupt most enemies' attacks. Not large enemies though. But it's worth knowing that your Athra Surges can break through any enemy attacks, even the red unblockable ones. Speaking of Athra Surges, you're going to find some really nice ones that you're going to want to use often, but if you don't spec into Athra Charge, you will hardly get to use them. It's best to look through your amulets and pick ones that help you build charge. Like I said at the start of the video, the map in Prince of Persia is absolutely huge and you're gonna get lost sometimes but don't worry, the game won't let you go anywhere where you're not supposed to be yet but if you're unsure where you need to go next, Fireba in the hub town has hints that you can buy for 50 crystals that will point you in the right direction. Also, when you're out exploring, you'll run into Fireba hiding in some hard to reach places. She sells maps that reveal the whole layout of that area and these are a must buy, it makes exploring so much easier. One of the best features in Prince of Persia is the photo pin feature. You're going to run into so many pathways that you won't be able to reach or get through and puzzles that you can't solve yet. The game is massive with so many different ways to access different areas. So listen to me right now, just mark them. I guarantee you, you will not remember without the visual help. It will save you so much time backtracking through the map. Finally, a general survivor tip, the shopkeeper in the hub area sells potion upgrades. Try to focus on getting these upgraded sooner rather than later. Capacity first, potency later. But those are 11 tips and tricks in Prince of Persia The Lost Crown. For more guides, gameplays, reviews and previews, make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.